Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Hourgun. So we have the Harvester of Nightmares event where you can grind out each of the day's completions and upon completing the 14th day you'll obtain a token of achievement. Now with these tokens you can obtain some pretty neat rewards. You can see with the achievement tokens you can even obtain an account wide mythic companion which I'm going to go over in a little bit. I've done some testing on it, have managed to obtain it and there's also the Golden Warhorse account wide legendary mount. My opinion, it should be upgraded to Mythic, theoretically. With that said, you can also obtain coalescent moats along with Mythic Bags of Holding. I wouldn't worry about getting the bags of holding, you can get them cheaper elsewhere and otherwise you can generally survive on a more limited inventory space, especially when starting out in the game. You're generally better off just creating multiple characters and using them as storage banks. So the question is, should you be saving up for this account wide companion or account wide mount or should you just be buying coalescent moats? We can see on the auction house that coal wards are going for, or coal moats, excuse me, going for 1.1 million in Astro Diamonds. Now their price has dropped a little bit there, mainly because of the Zen Market sale, this bundle where you can buy three for just 1,500 Zen. A very good deal if you have Zen lying around and you still need to go ahead and upgrade these enchantments. Otherwise, Coal Wards aren't too useful as of right now. Who knows, they might output some new combat enchantments that we might want to get up upgraded once you have your enchantments upgraded there's no real need for coal wards anymore you're still gonna use preservation wards to do your artifacts and so with that price still being over a million you could look at yeah just buying these every event will get a token of achievement that's the maximum you can obtain so that's a coal ward for this event pretty neat reward you just have to complete it 14 days that's over a million worth unfortunately you cannot sell this thing we go for example buy a coalescent moat from here and you can see unfortunately is bound to your account but if you did collect enough unbinding tokens you could go and theoretically unbind it and then sell it but that's 80 unbind tokens and right now i can sell my tom weapons which i can remove the bindings for 70 tokens on legendary and on green it only cost me like 40 tokens and i can sell those for over a million but of course newer players won't be able to do that this still can be a pretty good deal but i would save them and actually use them to upgrade your enchantments when you need to but again is this going to be worth it well we've got to go and check out this air genasi but it can also be named the wind soul genasi and it is indeed account wide so you'll be able to claim it an infinite amount of times once you bind it to your account and unfortunately it's not a great companion you can see just looking at its power setup it gives on its equip power deflect chance and combat advantage not really good for tanks and not really good for dps and not useful at all for healers it does have vulnerability which is one of the best enhancements for increasing your party's damage i will go over those in another video testing each of them out and how useful they are and which ones you actually should be running in a let's say trial group to maximize your damage but otherwise the air genasi is unfortunately pretty underwhelming with her power setup and what she does in combat just by testing her against a dummy her powers are a bit like the wizard there where she can use that lightning power but she can also spin like that which is in fact an aoe power see there's the lightning again she'll stab with her sword but unfortunately in single target her damage is very underwhelming we can see a dps test here and she was only dealing like just over 19,000 encounter dps and to put that in perspective compared to all the other companions out there she's in 66th ranking compared to some of the top there like with the paranoid delusion the pseudo dragon honey badger you can see they can deal all up to like 40,000 encounter dps so overall definitely not worth it to use a summoned not worth it to have it as a quip so that leaves the only benefit as in contributing to your companion bolster and many of you if you've seen my series link in the video description companion bolster is like the last thing you focus on because you gain such a minute amount of benefit for the cost and so this is not going to be worth to get 10 percent bolster with this air genasi since you're gonna have to spend a total of again five events to actually 
get this wind soul Janassi or this golden warhorse and if you want to have a look at the golden warhorse again it is account wide to be able to claim it on all of your characters once you get it but this thing yeah it has golden touch which is really good as a mount combat power but you're going to have to get this mount upgraded from Mythic for it to have 3000 magnitude. And hearty resistance isn't bad for a tank at all. It is one of the best mount combat powers. But it is in competition with the giant toad. Which you can see lists at only just over 1.3 to 1.4 million astral diamonds. Otherwise there are lesser mounts which have tunnel vision. But you're going to have to be upgrading those from Epic. So in my opinion this golden war horse is not going to be worth five tokens when you're looking at buying five coalescent moats for the price of it it's not worth over five million especially just sell one or two of those coal moats and you already got the price of this legendary giant toad so with the air genasi being underwhelming in combat as summoned and as its equipped power it's not worth picking up either. Again, I'll show her performance in the new zone where we can go and jump into a pack of mobs and see how well she does. You can see she hits them all there. She starts spinning. She can hit a few of them, but otherwise nothing special. She killed one of them, but still she's going to take forever to kill them all. Let's group the mobs around her. The next time she goes and spins, she can at least attack all of them. There you go. She can deal decent amount of damage, but they're all going to have to be really close to her. And overall, her combat effectiveness is just super poor that even as a newer player, you would be better off with just an augment companion buffing your own stats than this Air Genasi to help you kill a few mobs here and there. However, keep in mind, since the Air Genasi is a new addition to this store, at least since the last event, then there's no reason they won't add more things to this store when the Windsoul Genasi becomes outdated or lots of other people have it they might add another chase item in the store and that way you might want to actually just wait on your tokens of achievement save them up rather than buying coal wards or coal moats if you don't need them and potentially something might come down the line that's going to be actually worth the tokens that you get from this event but again as a newer player you could very well just be better off getting these coal moats using them to upgrade your enchantments and getting that little bit of a head boost through this event. Otherwise selling it for some astral diamonds. But again, you're going to have to unbind it since this moat unfortunately comes account bound. You can of course upgrade something with it and then sell that item on after upgrading it for a tidy profit. So unfortunately, the Arjunasi is not a companion I would pick up, nor the Golden Warhorse. Otherwise buy coal moats if you need them. But like myself, I'm just going to save my achievement tokens and see if they add something different to the store down the line. So overall, I'd like to give a massive thank you to all my channel members for helping me keep my channel going. And if I presented this well, consider leaving the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.